All right. Thank you for the feedback. Uh, I'm glad we got that all, all settled in now. So we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, I'll give a quick recap. We're going to be uh, using today to sort of connect two positions that we've worked on. Close guard, which is what we've worked on most recently, and then back control and attacks from the back position, which is what we started this whole series with a few weeks ago. And what we established is like the, the most dominant position in jujitsu. And so that's ultimately where we want to try to get to. And so we're going to look at routes to start in the close guard and end up in back control or some other sort of dominant type positions. So now that we've got the audio sorted out, we'll go ahead and get started. All right. So again, I want to be in a position where I can easily have control of the back of, of Mira's head. Okay? And if you've done jujitsu, you uh, probably have been told by your coach that if you're on the top here, you want to try to never put your hands on the mat because you're very exposed. And so we're going to uh, take advantage of that today. And we're going to say, okay, Mira knows she should never put her hands on the mat. So she's going to try to put her hands on me. Okay. So. What I'm gonna be doing is making a control of her wrists on uh, one of the hands that she's putting on me. And I'm gonna be making pressure to stuff her wrist to the knot on her own belt, okay? Or her belly button if this is no gi, because this is gonna be a, a no gi applicable version of our technique. So I'm gonna be pushing this to the, her belly button basically. And I'm gonna be trying to fold her over. So my legs and my hands are gonna pull down. And I'm gonna be trying to fold her over like this. Okay. As I'm folding her over, I'm going to release this grip and switch it under her arm like this. Okay. Let's spin this way so everybody can see. Spin, spin, spin. So I'm through her armpit making a grip like this. Okay. Once this grip is there, it continues to pull hard. And now her wrist is stuck between her stomach, my stomach, and then my forearm. It should be fairly difficult for Mira to get her right wrist out of this position. If you try a little bit, go ahead. Should be pretty hard actually for her to get it out from there. So if I, if I give her all day, she'll of course get out, but I don't wanna, wanna give her all day. So now what I'm gonna do is try to get this elbow across my body more. And it's okay for me to briefly unlock my legs if I need to, but I'm gonna lift my hips up just a little so I can drop them and drag her arm all the way across my body and now her back is exposed and that's what i'm looking for i want that back exposure once that back is exposed i'm going to try to glue my chest to it as quickly as possible so i'm going to sit up really reach high over the top and i'm going to try to glue my chest as much up onto her back as i can okay currently i'm still on my elbow on my right side but I can probably get a better back exposure if I can come up to my straight hand right here. Now I've got a really good connection of our backs. Okay. So there's basically three different uh, next steps I can take depending on how this goes. One, if Mira just sort of stays right there and doesn't fight me too much, I can just kind of let her be there and I'm gonna spin around and get on top of her and get her back from right there. Okay. I don't, we don't see that one a whole lot. Usually your opponent fights back a little bit more, but we'll just take a look at what that looks like. So Mira's gonna kind of brace herself on her elbows because she's gonna have to carry some of my weight here in a second. And I'm just gonna hit out and I'm gonna come all the way over and look to start to get my hooks in. Now, if we were more similar in size, I'd be putting more of my own weight on her, but obviously there's a pretty big size difference between Mira and I. Uh, and so I want to make sure to take it a little bit easy here. Okay. So that is one way. But what I see happens a little bit more often is that there's resistance from the person in Mira's role. And so we're going to want to have more movement involved. And I need to try to move my hips while maintaining my chest glued to her back. Okay. So we'll start from the beginning and then we'll look at that one. So be here. So I have her head. Her hands are not on the floor. The other may be on me. So I'm gonna control her wrist, push her wrist to the knot on her belly button and use my legs to bring her in this way. The hand releases and it comes into this control here. 
So I currently have both of my hands on just one of her arms, on just her right arm. Okay. I release this, drag it over, and now I have back exposure here. I need to, as quickly as possible, glue my chest onto her back. Okay. So I can make an initial grip for sure, but I really need to make sure my legs are unlocked so I can hip out and really start to come up and get a grip. Okay. Me getting up to a straight arm is gonna be one of the most helpful things that I can do here. Okay, so I really wanna get this straight arm and I wanna try to, I wanna try to keep my head higher than her head. Okay, let me see that. So once we're here, typically it starts to be a little bit of like a scramble, like she's trying to get out. And so a way that I like is I'm gonna keep my left hand grip and I'm gonna just start scooting this way and eventually she's gonna fall over and now I've got really good back control from here. I can start looking for the choke. I can start trying to put my hooks in. I can start trying to do all of that stuff. So I'll show one more time and then we'll have Mira give it a try. Yeah, just a little. Right there. Okay, so control of her wrist, control here. I'm gonna pull with my legs and stuff her wrist down, snake through, make my control, and drag this across for back exposure. Once the back is exposed, I need to unlock so I can come up higher than her, and ideally even to this straight arm. Okay? From here, I'm gonna keep a tight grip with this hand, keep a tight grip with it, and I'm gonna scoot kind of behind her, and she's gonna pretty much fall onto her butt, and I can start my, my attacks from right there. Of course, getting my hooks in and everything else. All right, so now Mira and I are gonna trade roles, and she'll do it. If you've got two people at home, go ahead and trade roles right now and follow along with how Mira does it. And I'll walk it through step by step. Okay, just get that way a little bit. That's good. Okay, so Mira's gonna make her left hand on my wrist and her right hand on the back of my head. She's gonna try to pull my face down. Yes, and shove my wrist there. Now her right hand releases and it gets under my arm into this position. She's gonna lift her butt an inch or two off the floor and then in one motion, drive my arm that way and move her butt that way. Yes, now Mira's got both of my arms on the floor, which is exactly what she wants, and she has my back exposed. So she's immediately gonna make a left hand grip on my shoulder as far as she can, more my lap action. Yep, and now she does not need this bottom arm anymore. So she's gonna to try to pop up to the arm. Okay, now let's spin this way. So here's one of the key details, especially if you're you know, new at this. If I, the bottom person, if I can get my right arm to escape, then I can get out of this. So one of the big things Mira's trying to do is keep this arm engaged in the ground so she can drive her stomach into me and my arm is stuck. My arm is super stuck. Okay, so that's exactly what she wants to be doing from here. Okay, now from here, she's gonna go ahead and just keep all this connection and just start trying to scoot her butt behind my butt. Yep, keep scooting, keep scooting. And then eventually I pretty much fall right into the back control. She can start going for her jokes and strangling me <laughs> and getting, getting all of that stuff. So that's gonna be one of the key details is that Mira keeps that really good pressure. And that felt excellent actually, it felt really good. Uh, on keeping my arm pinned in there. So we'll have Mira do maybe like two more reps of these. So she's on her back. Yeah, same as before. Okay, so she makes a control of my wrist and a control of the back of my head. She pulls my head down, shoves my wrist. Now her right hand releases and it gets the bicep grip. We call this an arm drag. Okay? So now she kind of bumps me with her hips as she pulls my arm to the side. Good, so she's done great. She has both of my elbows on the floor. We'll freeze right here, we'll spin this way. Just so you guys can see, she has both of my elbows on the floor. I'll get this one out of the way. This is exactly what she wants, where I'm really broken down like this, okay? So we'll spin you back. Okay, so now she's gonna prop up to her elbow and then to her straight arm. 
And she's very aware to stay as close as possible to me. Because if I can get this arm back in between us, I can start escaping. Okay? So now from here, she's going to be very strong with her left hand. She's going to keep her head kind of close to my head and start scooting her butt behind my butt. And I'm going to kind of fall to the side. And now she's got back control and can start going for the jokes on me. I think Mira's liking this where she gets to choke me just a little bit too much. Okay. All right. One more rep for Mira. All right. So we're in Mira's closed guard. Wrist control, head control. She pushes the wrist, pulls the head down, switches to the arm drag, and then drags my elbow to the floor. Perfect. She's got my elbow to the floor. She makes the left hand grip on my back, scoots out to the straight arm. She never lets me escape this arm. Okay. And then she starts to scoot behind me as she pulls with her left arm. Yes, that good pull, knocks me down, and then she goes for the choke. All right, so that's our basic uh, and most common, I think, way to go from the closed guard to controlling the back. Remember, once you get behind your partner and you start to get back control, if their chin ever lifts up even a little bit, you want to immediately start going for that choke right? Typically when you're going against a trained opponent, they're going to really be burying their chin and trying to keep it down. And so your window of opportunity to, to get that choke can be very, very small. And so you always want to just, you know, be ready to just go right for it as soon as it's, as soon as it's available. Okay. So getting the back is generally where we want to go, but sometimes our opponent makes that a little bit difficult because as I've done this arm drag, they're starting to apply different types of pressure, right? or, or they're doing different things with their hips, and it, it can make it a little bit hard for me to, to get where I wanna be. Okay? And, and so let's go ahead and take a look at one other thing that can happen from, from this. So same sort of setup, I'll try, uh, where are we gonna go? Yeah, I'll go back on this side. So we're gonna get to the arm drag the same way, no change in the arm drag. All right. All right. So same wrist control, same head control. I break her down, I switch, I bump, I drag, and I start to come up right here. Now there's a couple things that can happen. Mira knows that if I can, right now her hips are higher than mine. She knows if I can get my hips out, that I'll be in really good shape and she'll be in deep trouble. So sometimes she might try to drive into me really hard. Yeah, to try to keep that weight on there. So from here, if I feel her driving, especially if she's driving her shoulder into me, all I need to do is plant this leg and turn over. And now I'm going to get on top this way. All right, let's look at that one more time. So Mira's going to be realizing that I'm trying to get her back. So she's trying to smash me with her shoulder. And I'm going to use that pressure to make the roll happen. So control switch to our arm drag, bump and drag through. I make my grip, but she's gonna try to smash me. She might even be putting her butt up high in the air, getting on her tippy toes. Yeah, and trying to really put a bunch of weight onto me. Very hard to get her back from here, but all I need to do is drop this leg down, bump over, and now I'm into a good top position. I end up more in like the mount and less in back control. But this is still a fantastic position to be in. In a points jujitsu tournament, I get the same amount of points, two for the sweep and four for either back control or the mount. So it ends up as a really good spot for me. Yeah. So uh, let's, uh, let's do one more time, just so we can really get a good look. And then we'll have Mira try it and you'll trade rolls at home. All right. So. Same initial arm drag. I get my grip, but she rises her butt real high in the air. So her legs are straight, she's up on her tippy toes, and she makes her butt as high to the sky as she can. Can you get your butt a lot higher? Yeah, something like this, and she's trying to drive into me. Yeah, so now I just have to roll over and down right there. Okay, so now Mira and I will trade. She'll go, and you guys trade rolls at home too. Okay, so she makes the wrist control, 
and then her right hand on head control, and then switches to the arm drag. Yep, perfect, good. Okay, now from here, she starts to make a grip, but I don't like it, so I'm trying to squish her a little bit. So she puts her left foot on the floor and rolls to her left. Yes. And then she gets on top of me. Okay, let's do it again. So this is one of the reasons why it's really important that Mira got my elbow to the mat before, because if my elbow was still on her, then this technique is harder for her to get. Okay, so it's pretty important she gets my elbow all the way over to the floor. So let's look again. So wrist and head control. Good. She switches to the arm drag, and my elbow's on the floor, right? Exactly. So as she tries to come up, I'm going to lean into her, and now she's going to put her foot on the mat. Yes. The bridge and roll over this way. Good. Let's have Mira do one more time. Okay, wrist and head control, good. Switches, arm drag, my arm is on the floor. She gets my lap, okay, as much into my armpit as she's able to make her grip. I start to lean into her and smash her, and she takes me over this way, huh? All righty. So now we've covered our basic arm drag. We know that if they just sort of stay put, we can get to their, their back and they'll be in sort of a turtle position. My experience is that that rarely happens. Usually people move and are squirmy and that sort of stuff. So to take their back, we usually sort of go back around the corner and drag them that way. And then if they start to pressure into us, we can just roll them over and get to our mount position. Okay? So uh, take a second. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them into the live chat. Uh, appreciate everybody letting us know about the audio before. I'm glad we've got that sorted out. Hopefully you can hear us even more clearly than with our old ones. Now that we've got this, this better mic uh, and it's not muted. That's helpful too. And I'll show just one more of each. Okay, I'll show one more of the, the back take and then one more of the roll to mount. And after I show each of those, I'll see if there's any questions that have been put in there. Uh, then get those answered and then we'll dismiss class after that. Okay. So one more of each. So I'll start in the guard. Break her down, switch to my arm drag position, bump my hips, and drag across. I didn't have this hand in place there because I wanted you to be able to see, but you can, of course, use both hands. As soon as there's back exposure, I'm going to try to get my grip, and then I want to try to get up higher than her. Okay? Once I've got the, uh, uh, this position, I always try to keep my chest on her back, and I'm just going to scoot, scoot, scoot. And then I've got her back and I can start working in for the choke. And then option two is if I feel her drive into me, I'm gonna sweep to mount. So head and wrist, break her down, switch to my arm drag here, and I get her back. She tries to straighten her legs, make her butt high, and drive into me. So yes, not yes, exactly. So here I plant, we roll over, and I've got my mounted position. Okay. All right, looks like there's at least one question on here. Okay, awesome. Yeah, Aaron made a comment that uh, keeping the, the chest pressure on the arm so they can't get their arm out is uh, a, a really important detail that often makes or breaks the move. Let's review that one more time. So I'll have Mira do it to me so that everybody can see what we're talking about, especially because Aaron asked for this, uh, this class or this technique anyway. So Mira makes, makes the, the grips and everything. She goes into the arm drag, okay, and she starts to take my back. Okay, yep, go ahead. So here's our, our, our position. If Mira gets loose and I can get this back here again, then I can reset back and she cannot get my back anymore. Go ahead and relax. 
So that, that's the detail that Aaron was asking. It's really important that Mira never let me uh, circle this arm back to the other side. Mira wants both my arms on one side of her body. If I have one arm on each side of her body, she can't get my back from there. So keeping Mira keeping her chest and hips and stomach driven into my arm so it stays very stuck, that's really the key detail with that one. So. All right. If anybody else has comments or questions, let's go ahead and get those in there in the chat. Going once, going twice. All right, looks like we're good for today. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Thank you for letting us know about the audio issues. Thank you, uh, Aaron, for the feedback and the comment on the, the technique. Thank you, Mira, for being such a good sport with this, getting better every day. Uh, and then if you have any other requests for techniques that you'd like to see or little details or anything like that, then shoot them to us. You can put them in the comments section of the video or you know, just email us, DM us, anything like that, and we'll try to get those videos shot for you guys. All right, thank you very much. Have a good rest of your day. Bye, guys.